Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Did You Know That Kitty has an application that is a YouTube client? At least uh, for music, like listening to music through YouTube, thanks to AudioTube it's called, and it's a pretty nice project. Now, I will start off this video by actually saying something super controversial, I'm sure, and that is, I'm actually a very big fan of YouTube Premium. I pay for it, I think it's a very nice way also to pay back all the creators that I follow because YouTube Premium does share a nice um, cut of the money with the creators, which I think is nice. And it also includes all the music with YouTube Premium. So I'm actually really happy with that. But if you are not, and it would make sense because it is not cheap <laughs> for sure, then you can just use other project. As an example for Android, there is Newpipe, which is pretty great in my opinion, and you can listen to music through it. But there is also this project done by KDE, which is AudioTube for your desktop. So this is the application itself. And uh, this is the blog post that prompted, prompted this video, which talks about the very latest improvements to the application itself. So quickly, just to show you how the application is and looks like now, I have actually installed this from source to have the very latest stuff and it almost works, but strangely enough, if I try to open up a singer speech, there's an error. So I apparently misbuilded something, but music does work. As an example, I can just bring up this song and let's ignore the error, but uh, it, it did start. Let me... This is the song and it's playing. So this is the page to see the song that's currently playing. You can add songs to the queue. Here you can see all of the queue, which are other related songs. I think it's a very nice selection, selection actually. And in the listen version, you also have the lyrics. So if you want to see how the song, what, what is the singer even singing, then you also get the lyrics, which, you pre, which is pretty nice. Here you have the recent searches. Of course, I searched my name because after all, I mean, it's a YouTube client. I expected something, but uh, nope. But uh, just to search something else, which I often listen to, this is Eminem. Again, okay, now this one actually works because magic. You get Radio of the Other, Shuffle of the Other, and you can open it in the browser. As an example, let's do that. It immediately starts with Not Afraid, which is a decent pick. Here you've got buttons to stop and play the music and to switch to the next song. So the whole UI is pretty intuitive. It's not like super full of features and stuff, but I mean, what do you even need anyway? You can add songs to the queue, then open up, see the queue, see the lyrics. I think everything works pretty nicely. So what is the recent AudioTube improvements? Firstly, you do have now a library when you just opened up, as I've shown you, which shows you the most recent songs and also the one that you tagged as favorites. I would totally favorite both Eminem and Carlo Corallo. As I've shown you also, when you're searching, you can filter through the previous searches that you've done and you can see the lyrics of a song. Finally, there's this new nice view for when you're actually seeing the song that's being played that uses the album art, which is super nice. In general, I think that the project just looks so pretty overall. I think it's really well done. This is actually, I think my second video that I talk about AudioTube and I think it has improved a lot since last time. And it is something that I would feel safe recommending. So video playback is not supported yet. So no video yet, but still you do get playlists, which is pretty nice. This is a playlist as an example and you can just play it. By the way, I now realize that I've done a huge mistake. That is, I've actually played part of the very, very first song in the video, which means that YouTube is gonna come after me for the copyright of those 10 seconds of song I've shown you, but I will probably remove it in editing. So you won't hear anything, but it does work. It does work. So what do you think? Nice project? Would you use it? I gotta say it's improving a lot. So really congrats to the developer. Thumbs up and um, see you tomorrow.